oh great Neptune, take back the beast. Ahoy mates, Charlotte's on vacation this week, so I am rolling with Farmer Jack. Uh, how about Deccan Jack, El That's Jefe? right, that's Deccan Jack. Cheers, Deccan Jack! El Jefe, cheers! In this episode, we continue on on the third part of our trip from Long Beach all the way down to San Diego. And as you recall, in the last episode, our boat was broken down in Long Beach. I had to rebuild that hot gas section of the engine and we got it working. So this leg of the journey, we were getting the boat fired up and looking forward to a nice sail all the way down to San Diego. Now, deckhand Jack, when you're not deckhand Jack and sailing, you're farming. What do you farm? Well, thank you, Elliot. I am Farmer Jack. I farm almonds and walnut. And in that, I also have quite a few tractors. Yes, and in my sailboat, I have an Atomic 4 engine, which just happens to be very old, but is based on an old tractor engine, which means that it was a good thing I had a farmer with tractor experience on that boat. Yes, the morning we got ready to leave. Um, Captain Elliot, what marina was we at? We were in the Shoreline Marina in Long Beach. The Shoreline Marina in Long Beach. We were there bright and early, ready oh, to go. Before the sun was up, just like before good Before the sun was up. And El Jefe goes to start the motor and click, click. Didn't click, go. Click. Didn't Would no not go. start. No va. So what did we do, El Jefe? We panicked. We panicked. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I panicked. We did panic. The trip was over before it was even going to start. But again, I had a farmer with me who was masquerading as a deckhand. Ah. So yes, that did come in handy. Captain Elliot uh, did not know what to do. He was gonna take off and go to the auto parts store. And I said, wait a minute, Del Jefe. It could be the solenoid. Let's check it out. So what did we do? So Farmer Jack said, you got a screwdriver? And I said, I sure did. I handed Jack a screwdriver. He jumped the posts on the solenoid. I turned the motor over, boom. Engine starts up just like a tractor in a field, and we were out of there. Okay, Farmer Jack, are we off on our way? We are set and sail. We have shoved off, Captain EJ. <laughs> and um, whoo, it's a calm, beautiful day out here. I've got my coffee cup. We do. We've already had a mechanical issue that Farmer Jack came to the rescue on. Elliot Otherwise, would, we would not be going. Elliot would be stranded at the auto zone trying to figure out <laughs> what figure is out going what on is. with his motor. Awesome. Hey, here we are out on the water. It's sunrise. As you can see, we've got our sail up, waiting for the wind, navigating through the barges of Long Beach. And we are setting sail south see our Navionics there. We're following our course and dealing with whatever the ocean throws at us for, for two old guys in a boat. Deckhand Jack's on the tiller. Deckhand Jack on the tiller. On the tiller. Oh, Elliot, what? We, we got a problem, Elliot. What? Okay. Camera action, rolling, take one. Okay, we're out here in the Pacific Ocean cooking along going towards San Diego, and we have this baby right here. This was the cause of all my travails in the past few weeks, an exhaust pipe that I had to take off the engine. Look at that, look how rusted it is. And this thing is going to be sacrificed to Neptune to appease his wrath. We need to make a sacrifice. So at this time, off the coast of California, on a beautiful November day, we're going to send this beast to its final resting place in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. And there was no, 
no, no wildlife hurt by dropping this. Okay, it has no uh, nastiness on it besides rust. So we are going to send it down. So, oh great Neptune, cut. Okay, okay. take two. The sacrifice of the rusted beast will go to Neptune in the depths of the Pacific Ocean as a sacrifice for our beneficial travels on the goddess. So here we go. Oh, great Neptune, take back the beast. It's gone <laughs> to the open seas and beyond. So here we are at the Oceanside Yacht Club after a 50 nautical mile sail slash motor slash nearly broken down adventure. So we've showered up. We're going to go have a glass of wine, maybe a couple, some food. This looks like a nice little lot though. Um, a little more informal than Long Beach, certainly, but uh, probably no less friendly. So yeah, this is a pretty cool place to spend the night. All right, good morning. We are here at the beautiful Oceanside Yacht Club. On Sunday morning, the sun is just coming up. Farmer Jack and I are up and ready to go. We've got 40 nautical miles all the way down to San Diego today. And uh, we should have better wind. Yesterday we had a couple hours of good wind. A lot of hours of really good, dependable motoring. Slow, if not uh, absolutely dependable, which was great. So uh, the Oceanside Yacht Club has been great. They're very friendly here. Several living boards here. Nice bathrooms. Nice bathrooms. Nice okay. bathrooms. Nice yes. bathrooms. <laughs> and nice pub food. And nice Coconut pub shrimp food. last night. That yeah. was good. Yeah, they have a nice bar. Very social people here. Nice yeah. bar. Watch and a little football. Got football game in and uh, quiet here. There's some barking seals, but uh, and with a fan on, it's... Uh, it's covered up so yeah we had a good time last night so we're gonna get out of here fire up the engine and we've got uh, you know a beautiful little marina here and you can see our Navionics there and our iPad we're ready to go and uh, beautiful day hopefully we get better wind today so it's sunrise and uh, we're two salty sailors out to sea bright-eyed bushy tail ready to roll <laughs> they're ready to roll <laughs> You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations, as a statute forever. Good morning, Morgan. That was regarding I Passover. I apologize greatly. That was I regarding make it God saying, to church you morning, remember, right? But, uh, I saved you from death and delivered you from Israel. It I is just want to thank you Egypt. for uh, Do not bringing that. the word as you can we hear. We see it when Joshua, We're listening to you live just before right crossing now. into the promised and, um, land, they erected yeah, memorial Yeah, unfortunately, stones. I had to help a, a friend of mine, you how, a brother, uh, sell his boat from here. Long Beach to San Diego. When your children ask, in time to come, Man, I feel what bad I couldn't make it, but I am so thankful again for technology and your continued excellence before the ark in bringing the word of, of God the to our little the church Lord. in Escalon. When it passed over the Jordan, the waters of the Thanks, Jordan Morgan. were cut off. Appreciate so it. these stones shall be to the people of Israel a memorial forever. So God is saying, hey, put these stones up so if anybody asks, you can point back. All right, here we are. We've made it back to San Diego. Jack is doing a fantastic job of navigating us through all the boats and very nice wind coming into San Diego Bay today. Probably the best wind I've ever seen. You can see there's a lot of boats on the bay. Everybody's out on a Sunday. And it's good wind. We're making five, six knots coming down the mouth of the bay here. Six, two. Six, two. Right now. Having to tack back and forth just a little bit. But for two old guys learning how to sail, we're doing pretty good. 40 nautical miles today, and we're going for the last few. So it's a good day.